guys. Today I'll talk to you about this uh, 2021 X3. Uh, this is the four cylinder uh, version, it's the 30i I think. And this is an S drive, not an X drive. Uh, here in Texas, it's uh, very common to you. Uh, they get the S drive. The S drive is the rear wheel drive only. It's not a four wheel drive. And um, let's start with the quick here interior. Uh, you can see it's got the aluminum interior. Uh, we have uh, the M Sport package here, M Sport steering wheel, uh, heated steering wheel here, and heated seats. Um, look more into that. We have the uh, live cockpit as well. And rear room. I don't think it changed much, much from 2018, 2019. Seems to be the same. Uh, this got the leather interior. So it's nice and soft here, but this is just hard plastic here on the doors all the way, like until here actually. And there is something really annoying about these handles. There is a sharp edge right here. I don't know why they didn't make it smooth all the way. It's really sharp. It could catch your nails or whatever. Um, and it's on same on all the door handles. I know it's been like a little minor, but I mean, they could have done it a little bit better with this one, just having it a little bit smooth. Anyways, uh, same tail lights, nothing really changed here. Uh, we got the trailer hitch and the dual exhaust, same thing. See, it says your S drive 30i, and it gets the four cylinder. This has the uh, staggered wheels, so we have here. Uh, 275 in the back and then we have here 245 in the front and these are 20 inch wheels I believe let's take a look at the uh, window sticker so base price for the s-drive you see 43,000 and we've got the leather you know the paint Black Sapphire Metallic 550, the Bernask, Bernask, Bernaska, I guess, leather, 1450. And we have M Sport package uh, as the Sensitic dashboard. The driving assistant package, and that's, uh, I think you get the yes, through Surround View, Active Park Assist. And we have the premium package that gives you heated steering wheel, comfort, keyless go, panoramic moonroof, lumbar support, heated front seats, head up display. This is very nice. Uh, connected package pro. So you can, uh, from your app, you can uh, unlock, unlock the car um, and activate the camera so you can see around it and whatnot. And the live cockpit pro, which is nice. Um, here uh, you get the uh, Apple CarPlay navigation prompts. They show up on the head-up display with this one. So that's very, very nice. Anyways, um, active blind detection. That's just uh, the uh, front wheel. These here are, uh, they come with any X3 model. Review camera. So here we have the 20 inch um, wheels i just showed you a uh, trailer hitch 550 standard suspension but i believe you should have the m sport suspension um and we have harman kardon sound system it's pretty good and blah 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 led headlights so an led firewire active drive assist uh this does not have the adaptive cruise control anyways msrp is fifty five thousand and nine hundred and seventy dollars so it's quite a big bit of chunk of change so you can see the engine is from the uk on this one transmission is from germany uh, sometimes it comes from austria or something and assembled in the united states um yeah Good on gas, seems like. I did not really have much time with it. This is a loaner. Uh, so, 
got rid of the M5 and I'm getting a different car so I'll let you know what it's going to be uh, doors I mean the car is is big uh, you know from x5 is even more big but this thing is big and it's gotten bigger and fatter over the years compared to what x3 used to be anyways we got soft here um, soft here uh, somewhat solid here like it's not soft but it's solid it's soft here so that's good plastic here plastic here and this one is padded and you have deep storage in here with USB I believe USB C over there so that's good and here you have the lumbar support that's the width adjustment and that's the lumbar support for the passenger seat it's electric and the thigh support is manual um, on all x3s it's gonna be manual not electric um, seats are good they're, just, they're pretty comfortable uh, might be a little bit short for some people but very comfortable not a problem this does not have the wireless charging it's a different it's a separate package $500 on the X3 and you can see here um, it's the typical nothing really change here it's still this annoying you can uh, sharpen your nails on it you know that sort of uh, material i don't know what the heck it is uh, the headliner is not really my favorite but unfortunately you only get alcantara on some models of x5 and x7 it's option and you know the m, m cars or whatever but anyways soft hair uh I think this is Sensitec as well, not leather, but and nonetheless, it's soft and plastic here again, all the way through. Looks like they put some oily material. And then we have here, it's, so that's my driving position and there's more leg room over here compared to this passenger here but nonetheless it's still you can see uh this is way more back compared to the driver's seat and there's still decent room here no problems and the bottom is there's lots of room at the bottom as well but mind you i'm five eight um six foot people might find it a little bit small but overall it is comfortable you have uh, these back seats actually recline to some extent so you can there's a little bit of room for them to go up and down not a huge but it's there and you get the if I can open this there it is there it is holder it's nicely padded here so you can put your arm in this spot and the cups are here no problems should not be a problem you don't need to put your arm here so it so works pretty well there's no opening here but the seats are foldable so you can fold them down to load more stuff in there and yeah a panoramic sunroof pretty nice uh no ambient lighting on this one it's a separate package as well you have to tick the box for it so unfortunately you know there is no ambient lighting here or down there it's uh pretty boring to be honest with you but it shouldn't be it's not expensive i think it's like 200 something dollars and it adds a nice touch it'll add a strip light here and i here at the bottom which you can control the lighting colors and everything the subwoofer under the seats so i don't think you get that in the stock sound system anyways the door has a nice thud to it but no soft closing doors on the x3 at all all right nice 
So here, uh, this is stuff from my M5. I have to empty it. Uh, you can see it holds quite a bit of stuff. I have a jack, I have an M5 spare. And yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. There's more room, as you can see. And you can fold the seats to get more room. Uh, you can pull this back. So you can have more room up here. These are to fold the seats back. And you have a you know, a 12 volt socket over there and a hookup for the shopping bag, one here and one there. Uh, first aid kit here behind, so very typical. Automatic closing, that's nice. Uh, LED tan lights, very nice. And the signal also here is uh, the brake lights and the signal is all LED, very good. These are just reflectors. And I see here. This car has the red caliper with the M Sport. So the these LED headlights. The biggest problem with them, these are they, they are good at night actually. I have no problem with them, but uh, it only only this one works. So this one is just a dummy. It, there is no light coming out of here, so both low beam and high beam is coming out of this here. But you still get the cornering light, so this will come on when you turn the wheel to light up the side of the road for you. And these will still rotate with the steering wheel. Um, visibility is great, no problem. The, the fog lights actually also adds a bit of light cl close, not far away, but close on the road and you can see the difference, so that's very good. Uh, the chrome here, not a big fan of it. I would rather go with the black, which is, I think, uh, um, if you get the M Sport package, I think you can add it on. Um, I don't think you can add it on a normal X3, unfortunately. And you can see here the honeycomb and whatnot. I think on the M40i, the opening is a little bit bigger and then you can have the radar here, uh, the camera here for the 360. And yeah, four cylinder under the hood. Let's see here. Sound of a four cylinder, a trusty four cylinder. Um, I was really surprised with this car. Um, it is really zippy, it's pretty, pretty quick. I uh, was really surprised to see how quick it is from the get go, like from a stop and go. It surprised me. I drove one. I had a loaner back in 2018. I made a video on it. That thing was really slow. It felt underpowered. Um, was really not satisfying to drive. Uh, but this one surprised me. And I'll try to show that in the driving part. Uh, but nonetheless, the interior is much uh, improved over the previous generation. Uh, the, with the screen here, it's pretty nice. If you have the active uh, driving assistant, so you'll have more information in, in the middle. Uh, auto hold, you know, near traffic lights. You don't have to keep pressing the uh, uh, the brake pedals. That's a normal USB here. And see, it's, it sucks when you don't have ambient lighting because now you can't really see anything here. The only thing you get is these two lights like the old BMWs used to have. So the ambient lighting package is highly recommended. All right guys, so here we're in this 2021 X3. Um, we talked about it earlier, driving here. The first thing you notice is the right is on the firm side. So this has the M Sport package, but it says on the, according to the window sticker that it has standard suspension. So I'm, a little bit confused because the M Sport package should give you the M Sport suspension, which is a little bit lower and a little bit stiffer. Um, so I, I'm not really sure if the M Sport suspension would override, but it's not written on the sticker. So, anyways, you can uh, no 
notice the ride is a little firmer, but it's not harsh. It's actually very, very nice. There's, you can feel the road, uh, but it's still comfortable. And thanks to these seats, the ride is very, it's very nice actually. It's not soft, like way too soft, and it's not too hard. It's just right for the size and for the size for the size and for that weight of this vehicle. And the other thing, the, the steering wheel is not, it's not very soft, so that's good. Um, the X5 I've had was really, really soft and just so easy. This one, it, maybe it's because I got the M Sport package, so it's a lot of firmer, so that's nice. Now the steering wheel is nice, this new updated version. It's a little thicker, you know, than the previous ones. And, uh, the older ones they used to have the double spoke here, not the single one, this updated version. It would be the double spoke, uh, kind of boring, even on the M-Sport package, so they updated that. Uh, the other thing you notice is how uh, the pickup of the car is actually surprisingly quick. So now we're doing 66, I floor it, doing almost 80 here. Going up 90, yeah, 100. All of this from a four cylinder, and we just overtook three, four cars along the way. This is very. Back in 2018, when this came out, it was rubbish. It was really slow. And it's even more impressive from the stop, from like a dead stop going. It's really quick. You go to 60, I think it's rated at 5.3 seconds. But as you all know, BMW lies about these numbers. It's probably more than like five seconds or something. But nonetheless, this is the S drive, so it's rear wheel drive only. Um, maybe the X drive is a little bit faster. Or maybe not, because it's probably a little bit heavier as well. But anyways, um, it's got plenty of pickup. Um, or a four cylinder, really. I'm really surprised. I don't know. It's really surprising. So, anyways, um, it's supposed to have the lane keep assist and whatnot. I think it just gives you a warning. I tried it. I tried to. It shows here green, but when I try to actually try to go in the lane, it doesn't steer me back. It just vibrates. So I think you need to have the driving assistant professional for all of this to actually work. To have the has safety features um, but yeah we have the AC on and the car is still cold so um, as you know when you have the AC on usually that takes a bit of a power because the AC compressor is running along with the power rubbing a few horsepower from the engine so it's really really impressive uh, gas mileage is decent so right now it's telling me we're roughly so average overall is 26.4 it's pretty good. I think that's. I don't know who drove it before. This is a loaner, so whoever drove it before. And I have a heavy foot as well. 26.4. I'm sure on the highway this will get you over 30 miles per gallon. I think for sure. I have no doubt. So yeah, it's pretty good. It's way better than the X5. But that one is heavier and needs more power to move. Anyways, um, another thing actually, it's a little quieter than the previous generation. The previous generation was a little more noisy, so now we can hear tire noise, but the surroundings seems to be more uh, uh, a little more out of the picture. So there's not much noise from outside intruding the cabin besides just the wheels. And you know that changes depends on the tire and the tire tread and the pattern. Uh, some tires have more aggressive patterns. Some tires. Better rolling resistance, so they're quieter. Um, so that plays a role. I don't know how much difference you would experience, but nonetheless, this this is pretty quiet. Like on a smooth surface here, it's kind of windy outside. I'm not really hearing much, and uh, we're doing 80 miles per hour. Right now. It's not bad. It's not bad, but at the same time, you know, it's not a cheap car, so thank God it's it's not it doesn't feel as cheap 
because before they used to charge you similar money uh, when but it felt cheap you know so now they try to sort of improve some stuff still haven't improved other stuff like the plastics plastics and whatnot but i think the front glass is acoustic that helps with the noise as well with the wind so yeah the visibility is pretty good the mirrors are good yeah, the side mirrors are still a little small but uh, nonetheless you can still maneuver way out uh, dead spots over there behind the sea pillar you can see because the door opening and there is another window behind it so there is plenty of windows to actually which we can see through it's very, very nice. Uh, uh, don't see a problem with it at all. And thankfully, the blind spot monitor system in the BMW is very accurate and very, very good. Uh, once you set it up correctly, I always set it up to detect early. So you see now it's the thing is way behind. Anyways, um, this is really nice car. If you can, uh, if you're looking for something uh, that fits, you know, family three, four, I think this is perfect. Uh, Power-wise, it's actually very good. So you can have a slow person here easily fixed. this helpful.